Hey guys, Caleb here with DSR Video Shooter, and this is the mic back. It is a 3D printed bracket that attaches to your microphone and adds the ability to put different modules on the back, like wireless transmitters, 32-bit float recorders, and more. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what this little device does, how you can purchase one and support the channel, and crazy audio setups like whatever this is and how it works. Recently, I've really enjoyed getting into small batch 3D print manufacturing, and this is one of many ideas I have. So if you wanna keep up to date on all of this stuff and support the channel, check out the links in the description. And if you don't care about 3D printing gear and still wanna support the channel, check out our camera guides and LUTs. All of this stuff keeps sponsors off of the channel, so thank you guys so much for the continued support. Okay, so first let's talk about compatibility on the mic back. What microphones does it work with? What devices can you use with it? And I'm really excited to say that this thing is compatible with all of the current Rode Wireless Go devices. The DJI mic also works, as well as the Tascam DR10L recorder and the Zoom F2 recorder, which is fantastic because it gives you the option to record 32-bit audio and send that to your camera if desired. So those are what will work on the mic back itself. When it comes to the microphones that you can add, the mic back to, we have several different options. So there are going to be three models available at launch. One of them works with both the Rode VideoMic NTG as well as the Rode VideoMic Go 2. We'll also have a version for the DDD3 Pro and the DDD4 Mini. So several different microphones supported at launch and I may include more in the future. Now let's talk about installation of the mic back. So I'm holding one right now and you can see I've also got a microphone with one installed. Installation really couldn't be easier. In short, you simply take the screw out of the rear little shock mount of your microphone. So you can see I have one right there. You then slide on the mic back and put in the included screw so that it's nice and tight and secure on the back of the microphone. Here I have the same thing, but now on the D4 Mini from Deity, and that's really it. So it's super minimal, super easy to install and remove and reversible without damaging your microphone at all. When it comes to mounting your transmitter to the mic back, you can see here there are two slots on the back. That is going to work perfectly with the little pins on the Rode Wireless Go transmitter transmitters as well as the Deity transmitters. So you can simply fit it in here and you'll hear it lock in place just like that. Nice and secure. It's not going to go anywhere. Here I have another microphone with a go to transmitter already set up. Now, of course, you're not only limited to transmitters, but you can also use recorders. So here I have the Zoom F2, which is an amazing 32-bit recorder, and it'll perfectly slide right onto the back of the mic back. And you'll see if I get this unit right here, there are these little guides on either side so that this thing just perfectly slides in and won't move around at all. So this is a really, really sweet setup. Simply connect your microphone output to the input, and then you can daisy chain to your camera if you wanted to. Similarly, here I have the super popular Tascam DR10L. This one also works with the mic back. You simply grab one corner and slide it right on just like that. So now you can have this bad boy on the back of your microphone for really secure audio recordings. Once you have your device connected to the mic back, all you need to do is take your included microphone cable, connect it to the input of your device and the output of your microphone, and you're good to go. So now I have a wireless safe way to record audio using this combination right here. I could put this on a stand somewhere and know that I'm good to go with this recorder. Or if I wanted to use a transmitter, I could throw on the Go 2 or something like that. Here I have a super tiny, adorable setup with the Deity D4 Mini going into the Zoom F2. So really compact really flexible 32-bit float way to record audio, which is just amazing. I'll include a link to another video where I'm gonna go in depth on the installation of all these different devices over at the Camera Foundry channel if you wanna learn more about that kind of stuff. But now we're gonna dive into specific setups and how you could use the mic back system for your productions. So the first one is dead simple. Throw a transmitter on the back of the mic back, connect it to your microphone, and now you have wireless audio going to your camera. So this could be thrown on a stand, used for an interview setup like I am right now, 
or you could just throw it in the corner of a room for some backup audio. Another popular setup would be to use the shotgun microphone just out of frame like this for an interview, but also grab a Rode Wireless Go transmitter and use these two in conjunction with the receiver. That way you have your main nice audio from the shotgun microphone setup that is completely wireless and a transmitter with a lav microphone on your talent. So another super flexible setup using the Rode Wireless Go 2. And of course you could use two shotgun microphones with two transmitters and have a two person interview setup that is completely wireless using the mic back mounted on the Rode VideoMic Go 2 and the Rode VideoMic NTG. Now for this next setup, we're gonna do something interesting. We're going to connect both our microphone and our receiver into a camera using a custom splitter. So I'm going to take the microphone and I'm gonna grab the Rode Wireless Go receiver and add that to the mic back instead of the transmitter. Next, I'm going to grab a cable and go from the receiver into this splitter. Now this splitter is really special in that it will take a TRS connection and split the left and right separately. So what I'm gonna do is connect our receiver into the right channel or the red connection here. Then the microphone is going to go into the other connection. Then this whole thing is gonna go into our camera, the other end of this. And now we'll have the shotgun microphone in the left channel and the receiver or wireless microphone in the right channel. And we can keep this whole thing mounted to our camera and have great scratch audio or on-camera microphone audio, as well as a wireless signal. I could take this thing and attach it to another mic back if I wanted to and have essentially a shotgun on the camera as well as a wireless shotgun closer to my subject, which would give me much, much better audio. So another crazy way to do this uh, using the mic back. Now, if you don't like all of these cables, Small Rig makes this fancy little device and it has two inputs on one side and a single output on the other side. So essentially you're taking this splitter cable and putting it in a small box. So here I have my camera. I could take this guy mounted to this cold shoe on my camera cage, take our setup, remove the splitter from the equation, mount the microphone and mic back to my camera here and connect everything to this box. I'm gonna go input one and input two, then take a third cable and go from the output of this little box into my camera's mic input. So this looks absolutely insane, but super versatile setup. We've got a wireless microphone somewhere that could be a lav like this, or like we talked about, another mic back somewhere. And then we also have an on-camera microphone all going into our camera, two different independent levels. So this setup, while crazy, is super duper versatile and just a great way to have a lot of customization for your audio. So that is gonna wrap up this overview of the mic back. If you wanna buy one for yourself, check out the information down in the description. And keep in mind, I have a lot more weird little ideas like this. We actually have some gear coming out for cameras shortly, which I'm really excited about. So if you wanna stay informed on all the weird little projects I'm working on, make sure you check the information in the description and head over to the Camera Foundry YouTube channel. It's a new company that I'm starting where I'm just messing around with stuff like this. Otherwise, stay tuned for more tutorials and reviews here on Diesel Art Video Shooter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you in our next video.